okay so we'll play with this uh, chart of account segment values okay so in this particular ledger which is your microsoft use ledger when i try to create a journal this is the chart of account segments that is company accounts department intercompany project and future now when we go live for the first time uh, you would have done rapid implementation to load a lot of accounts you know departments and you know, what the other segments are whatever the segments are but let's say you go live and then after that somebody uh, wants to add a new account a gl account or they want to add a new department that is definitely possible and that's uh, regular and not normal operational stuff you know how do we do that there's a certain way we need to do that and we have to be doing it very very carefully because um, the downstream systems like epm they depend on that one and even while data entry right uh, it should be done properly so that there is no uh, error so let me show you the steps involved in that let's go to cancel first so this is done in three steps obviously the first step would be to go to the value sets okay go to setup and maintenance go to financials and then type in the shortcut for this would be value percentage value okay go to chart of accounts value sets okay select gl okay now we are we need the one which is related to microsoft let me look for it it's right here okay microsoft go to manage values and search for the values so let's say these are all the different asset accounts you know liability accounts and things like that so let's try to add something let's see what is there in the end uh, let's see if there is any seven okay we had one we have one seven triple uh, double five double five let's say you want to add this okay um, let's say you want to add a new one underneath this one not underneath i mean let's say we want to add a new one so let's click on plus okay and then call it this next sequence number okay whatever the last number is make sure that it is having the law, proper sequence number then you can say x x g x and whatever your expense number is okay <clears throat> now if you are going to be creating journal entries for that then yes if you're going to be creating budgeting for that yes is it a summary account no because we won't be creating just a summary account we will be always creating a child level account so that's where the actual journal entry will hit okay account type let's keep it as uh let's keep it as expense because we have given seven series okay and all the other things are fine in future sessions we'll talk about financial category and how this is impacting uh the reconciliation process okay but for now i'm just going to save it this is step number one okay save and close step number two is to go to something called manage account hierarchies and now this is not just for the gl account segment this is for every segment in the chart of accounts okay although it says account it means every now come here it will show you all the different hierarchies look for your account hierarchy for the microsoft okay so you have this microsoft you have this triangle over here click on that one and then when you open this you will see two of them use the one see this one is end dated this is the current one remember when you click on this there will be a pop up okay okay this is an important pop up and always remember to select this one because if you do not select this one and make any changes during run time remember you might be doing this in production then certain things become inactive and that will cause a lot of problems okay so remember to have this checkbox enabled click on okay now this will show you your hierarchy and remember this hierarchy must have been loaded as part of your rapid implementation okay so let's see 999 so we are in the expenses let's go to the expense i'm looking for the one which had sevens okay so this is the one which was previously there and you can see that it is under 60000 right it's under other let's say you want to add one more whether it could be beneath this or it could be beneath this you cannot add it beneath this because this is also a leaf node not a summary node select the parent over here select the parent go on top and click on this plus sign see remember it has to have if you are entering a detail level segment you have to select detail okay if you are entering a parent level segment you should select parent so by default it's going to be detail and very rarely you'll end up adding parent values you'll end up add, adding detail values that's why that is also defaulted for us okay so select that or keep that selected now look for the one you newly added okay, it must be there in the end see this is the one we newly added remember we added this as part of step one this whole thing is step two select this bring it to the selected and click on okay okay so scroll down and you can see that under this one this is also added now okay that that was step number two go back and say submit so it'll say tree version updated successfully click on okay click on done 
So that was your second step. And then the final step, which is publishing the account hierarchies. Click on this one. Now, this is slightly a you know different way it is done. So select this and say accounts Microsoft. Select the chart of accounts. It will basically show the ones which you have modified. If you select the segment as accounts, which hierarchy it is, it's called account Microsoft. All these were automatically being pulled from the hierarchies. And then you remember we had to select the, the current one because base one was end dated. Remember select and in publish say yes. This is query. Even for publishing, you have to do a small query like this and then click on search. Okay. So it will show you this tiny tree again. Click this triangle again. Okay. And then click on this. Click on this one and then click on the publish button. Okay, it'll say the published chart of account dimension members and hierarchies have been submitted. And actually, it also you can also do this by uh, bulk job. But you know, in this particular scenario, I generally avoid doing any bulk jobs. Okay, so we can go and check the job. I generally avoid doing any bulk jobs because it's it's one of the most fundamental things, right? So I don't want any issues. So I do one by one. Sometimes even folks who are doing production support, AMS, they kind of get this kind of requirement and there, there may not be any documentation straightforward available, but I figured it out once and I thought I'll just show it to you. Okay. So publish account hierarchies. These two are running. So let it keep running. This needs to be successful. It's still running. Okay. That's fine. Let it keep running. In the meantime, uh, let's go over and talk about my channel a little bit. So team, those who are new to my channel, uh, I have a lot of playlists in my channel. Uh, so recently I added a new playlist with one video about uh, Oracle Subscription Management Cloud. I'm going to be doing end to end. I just added this a few days back and I just received 40 views. But unfortunately, there is no likes or comments on this video. So if you would like me to continue on this, please do add more likes and comments and I'll take the series forward. Okay. Similarly, I already completed uh, other modules like projects module. PPM module, this one right here. I've completed the channel revenue management module. I've completed the credit management module. I've completed the RMCS modules. All these are 100% complete. Okay. So you should be ready to get started. If you complete all this, you should be in a position to get implementation done. Okay. In addition to that, I have some supply chain related ones like this one supply chain for finance professionals. This one, this procurement one, and these inventory ones. These are all ongoing. And I plan to continue these series. Again, it depends on how many likes and comments I receive in future. Uh, depending on that, I'll continue to do that. And then also I have something on credit management, uh, customer hierarchies, you know, which is related to CX and AR modules. And another interesting playlist I have is the machine learning, deep learning along with Oracle Cloud. Okay. And then we have the credit cards and the corresponding bill management modules. So all these are different modules. I've got about 165 videos. And if you can ignore the short videos, I think I just have about 10 shorts. You can ignore them. Okay. I still have 150 plus interesting videos for you guys. So please do uh, watch all of them, like all of them, comment on all of them. And, uh, you know, if you want, you can also contribute uh, to buy me a coffee where I can use these funds to promote my channel. Okay. So let's go back to this. Let's refresh this one. Okay. It succeeded. Now let's go and try to create a journal. Let's go to journal. Create a journal. Let's say XXG test. Let's call it XXG. XXG. I'll just put something called adjustment and currency. Let it be USD. But if you want to just test the uh, test the single uh, um, validation, right? You can just call it a statistical currency. Doesn't matter. Just wait for that. Statistical currency. I don't know if you know that uh, it is just for some record keeping. It's not mathematical, um, so you don't have to balance your debit and credit. Just for some quick testing, I use that. Come here. And now search for it, put some value here and then go here, sorry, go here and go to accounts. Now look for the seven series and you can see that the new account is here. It got added to this group. Okay. Click on okay. And save it. So it's requesting for this one, like it's not necessary. Okay, got deleted my phone. Let's come here. Let's do a selection. Let's put something here. I'm just trying to create a valid journal. That's all it is. Select this newly created account. 
click on okay 100 thousand save it that's it complete and post that's all it is okay so because it's a statistical journal you don't have to have a debit and a credit balance if you want to know about statistical journals uh, please do comment and i will have a detailed section on statistical journals but that's what i wanted to show you today team i hope you enjoyed this session uh, like i said please continue to watch all my videos comment and you know subscribe and share and you know buy me a coffee so your support is needed for me to continue with my rest of my videos there are a lot of things i have planned and uh, i think if you go to uh, this playlist here slightly different looking playlist okay if you come here i had actually made some videos about uh, let me give me one second yeah this one building on 2024 soaring into 2025 i've actually told you what my plans for 2025 are so request you to watch them and you know accordingly put your comments what you would like to see and everything and i'll continue doing that and i've also uh, put a similar video secondary video where i've shown you that 2025 plan it's actually already in motion whatever i showed you here in this that was a plan and then one thing mentioned in that plan is already completed and that's what i mentioned here and then i've also added what the other things uh which I'm planning to do. So definitely this is a dedicated place list about me and generally about me and what my plans are for this channel, okay? And then there is one more playlist which is called Unclassified. I think you should know about that too. So Unclassified, yeah. So this video which I'm recording right now, it will go into Unclassified. There, there are some how-to videos like how to email receivable invoice to the customer in Oracle Cloud. This was something because this was asked by community members. So if you guys have questions, you can put them and I can create small videos around that. If you don't find them anywhere else, uh, I'll try to uh, create that scenario for you in the instance and I'll show that how that is done and I'll put it as part of this video. That's why I've called it unclassified because there is no uh, particular uh, grouping I can do. So I've grouped all of those similar things uh, or rather non-similar things under this unclassified. If I take certain things forward and if you know it becomes a separate playlist, then I can add it in that particular playlist. Like for example, chart of account segment values. You know, there are some best practices which I discussed over here. Similarly, this is email. Uh, this is an old email where, you know, if I'm loading geography for the first time, how does that work? Like very first time when you load geography in the instance, because once it is loaded, the way geography behaves is going to be different. But when you're doing implementation for the first time, loading geography needs to be done in certain steps. And this one is an old video, very old video, which I've uploaded after making some edits. So you'll hear some click noises here. You can ignore that. Okay. So that's about this. This is about the security. These are some you know best practices for doing Oracle implementations. Uh, this is somebody asked me about FRWS Studio. Uh, so I just created one video about FRWS. And then this is about the licensing of uh, Oracle Cloud. So these are all unclassified. So similar videos. I'll, if there is a certain thing which is not categorized under a certain playlist, I'll come and add that over here. Okay. So that's it from me, team. Uh, let's reconnect in a future session. And like I said, may the Oracle be with you. And may the Oracle be with all of us uh, throughout our career. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time.